This video is to show you how to do input validation on a string. I'm going to apply input validation to a password and the conditions are that the password must be 8 characters in length and each character must be either lowercase alphabetic and I've looked up the ASCII codes, they're 97 to 122 or they can be the digits 0 through 9 and that's ASCII 48 to 57. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a handler called check valid. I'll just click on that and you'll see I've got it down here. And I'm going to pass into that handler the temporary password that I've acquired. So I'll just copy that and paste it in there. So I'm going to send off to check valid this temporary password that they've entered and if it comes back valid then I'll put that into the user's password and that will be displayed there. So I've passed in one parameter these are the actual parameters up here and down here I've got the formal parameters so I need to have a corresponding parameter. Um, this temporary password when it's passed in it, I can use any name I want. I'm going to put P for password. And that corresponds to the temporary password being passed in. And I'm also going to pass in a Boolean variable uh, that I'll call validity. And so down here, I could use the same name, but just to show you that I don't need to, I'm going to call it V and that's going to come back either true or false depending on whether the password's valid or not and because it's coming back out again so I'm sending validity in I'll work out whether it's valid true or false and that is going to come back out again the data flow is in and out so I need to put an at sign which is what live code uses for call by reference parameters or variable parameters whereas the temporary password I'm just passing it in to check it I'm going to be using it but I'm not actually going to be changing it and I certainly don't need to pass it back out again so I'm going to check whether the temporary password is valid so I'm going to repeat until this variable here validity I'm using control C and control V to copy and paste until validity equals true so in fact I'm going to move these conditions down into the handler that's going to check the validity and I'm going to press enter and if I'm inside that loop it's because validity is false so what they've typed in isn't valid at that point so I'm going to tell them that I'm going to say answer invalid password try again and then I'm going to ask them to enter a password if it's cancel I'll exit to top and then I'll push it into this temporary password variable. So I'll copy that, control C, control V, and at this point I've got another password from them to try. So I need to call the handler again. So I'm going to copy that and paste it into there. And it'll go off, call this. Um, handler decide whether it's valid or not come back round if validity, validity sorry, is false then we'll say it's invalid again enter another password go off and check come back here and it'll keep going round until validity comes back and it's true this isn't the greatest way of doing this it's much better to cast this as a function but we'll do that in the next video so down here, I'm going to use what's a very common programming method. 
I'm going to put true into V. And what I've done there is I'm saying that this parameter, these are our formal parameters here, that corresponds to the actual parameter here. I'm going to start off assuming that it's true. And then I'm going to check all these conditions. And if one of them isn't true, then I will set V to false. So the first one here, password must be eight characters in length. So I can just say if length password. There's a predefined function in live code called length. Um, sorry. Oh, it's I'm just checking the length of what's been passed in, which is P. And I'm using the predefined function length. So I'm saying if the length of P is not equal to 8, then put false into uh, into V. So whatever I've passed in to P, if the length of it is not 8, then I'm going to put false into this parameter here and it will be passed back out to validity. Now the next thing I need to check is each character must be either lowercase alphabetic or 0 through 9. And this word each tells me that I need to go through and check each character and so I'll need a fixed loop. So repeat with I need a counter that will look through the um, password so I'll just use I. So I'm going to start it off at character 1 of whatever has been passed in and I'm going to go all the way through to the length of whatever's been passed in. And I'm going to look at all the characters. So I'll look at character 1, character 2, character 3, all the way up to the length of the character. So I need to um, ask if... Now I need to know whether they're lowercase alphabetic and if they're not. So I need to know if they're outside that range. So I'll need to ask about character I of P. And I need to know what number, what ASCII value they are. So I'm actually going to use a predefined function from live code and ask if char to num of character I of P Uh, so I'll ask if it's um, less than, now I've got to be careful here because I've got, I can't, anything between 48 to 57 is okay and 97 to 122 is okay. So I'm going to say if character I of P, if the ASCII value is, let me just close that, less than 48, Or, and I'll just put that logical operator in in caps so it stands out, or if the ASCII value is more than, and the 122 is the kind of upper limit of what it can be. Now I'm missing some brackets here. So I'll need one in there, and I'll need one in there. So let's not worry too much about what goes on between 57 and 97, but certainly if it's less than 48 or it's more than 122, then I want to put false into V. So I've looked at sort of either ends, the 48 and below 48 and 122 and above that. So the other thing I want to ask is whether it's between 57 and 97. So I'm just actually going to copy this. So I'm going to ask if the 
turn the character into a number and I'm still looking at the individual characters. So if it's more than 57, less than 97, and do you see that this logical operator has to be and. We're saying that if it's between the 57 and the 97, then again I'm going to put false into V. So I've dealt with both of the conditions that uh, the characters must be exactly eight characters and they've got to be certain alphabetical or digit. So I'm just going to take out this comment here for a minute. Now it's saying there's a problem with that line. Um, well, I've got an extra character. Brackets. There we go, and it's probably going to do the same thing here and here. Right, let's see if it works. Bring that over here. So we have V starts off at true. If we find a condition it doesn't meet, the password doesn't meet, then false goes into V. And so when we finish the module or the handler, whatever value of V is passed back out to validity. And so it'll either be true or false, and it'll get stuck into this loop here. And if it was OK, then temporary password goes into user password, and I should see that come up there. Let's see if that works. Let's enter a valid password. So this is one that has got eight characters and they're all lowercase alphabetic. There they go. Let's do some numbers. They're OK. So now let's do something that's not eight characters long. So we'll just do three. That's invalid. Let's do one that's more than eight characters. That's invalid. Now let's do one with a capital letter. So we'll do we've got our eight characters, but we've got some capitals in there. And let's just check. That should definitely not be invalid. But if we, as long as we have lowercase and we have numbers, we've got a valid password.